so we have come to the third and final drawing system and that is perspective projection in many ways perspectives is probably the easiest to understand because that's how we see the world around us the most natural way in perspectives perspective drawings can be really useful it is by far the most accessible type of drawings it can convey your ideas really quickly. A well-chosen perspective can be very powerful in your presentation. I am here in just the edge of Fort Greene Park. I'm looking down at this sidewalk here. And as you can see, the edge of the sidewalk kind of disappeared into the distance. That's actually a one-point perspective. So before we talk about one-point perspective, two-point perspectives, or even three-point perspectives, I want to talk about there are five principles. So there are five principles in perspectives. Number one, horizon line. Number two, viewpoint. Number three, diminishing form. Number four, foreshortening. And number five, converging lines. So we're gonna walk around and I'll show you some examples of one-point perspective, then two-point perspective, and three-point perspectives. So in a one-point perspective, there is one vanishing point. Here, the camera is looking straight down on this street, and there is one vanishing point all the way out in the distance towards the horizon. So here I'm looking at the corner of this building and if you look at the roof line and the ground line on the right, they converge to the distance onto a point. So if you can imagine just drawing those lines all the way out, they will converge into a vanishing point. So if you look at the roof line and the ground line on the left, they also converge out to the distance to a vanishing point to the left. That's why it's called two-point perspective, one on the right and one on the left. So this is a three-point perspective view of this building. As you can see, the roof line and the ground line, they converge to a vanishing point to the right. And on the left, the roof line and the ground line converge to a vanishing point to the left. But you can see the vertical lines, they all converge to another point. They converge to a third point up to the sky. That's why it's called three-point perspective. So as you can see, they are examples of perspective projection anywhere you look. So drawing perspectives can be a little tricky and perhaps even hard to master. So the key to drawing perspectives is remembering those five principles. All right, let's go back and do some drawings. See you.
or in interior design drawings, we mostly deal with one point or two points. So imagine you are in a room. So let's say if this is the room. And you are inside the room. And you are literally perpendicular to this room. So this is a one point perspective. You're looking directly perpendicular into this room. Let's say you move to the side and you're looking at the corner. So this becomes a two point perspective by looking at not 90 degrees, not perpendicular to this plane, 